Mad Max on you live from Closeout Bats, and today I am talking about Wilson Marlis from 2021, and right here I have the M1D 33 and a half catcher's mitt. So anytime we see M1D from a Wilson Marlis, we know that this will be the 33 and a half inch catcher's mitt, and the way we measure that will be the total circumference. This one will be a super lightweight glove. This one will have the spin control technology, which we'll get to in a little bit. But this one will also have super skin to it, which will make this glove super lightweight. I mean, really, you think about a catcher, obviously you have to hold the glove up the whole game, ultimately making a lot of plays. You don't want a heavy, heavy glove. This one feels like nothing. I mean, honestly, I'm just like, just really like put it on for no joke, probably the second time. And I'm like, this glove feels awesome. So 33 and a half, which I like personally from a size standpoint, 34 is going to be one of the biggest 35 out there and stuff like that from other manufacturers. But 33 and a half is a nice size. M1D has definitely been real popular. They have it in the A2K. Um, they have one A2K catcher's mitt. So this one, they have a bunch of A2000 catcher's mitts. But the 33 and a half, my personal favorite. Some people like it. Some people want to go in a different route. Uh, we'll have the super skin material. Again, makes it super light. Breaks in a little bit easier. Can kind of obviously close it a little bit, but definitely a lot of break in left on this. We'll have the pro stock leather to it. We'll also have the flat binding material in right here, which kind of obviously you can put your finger out. Really feels feels nice feels very natural putting this out and then you'll see boom right there in your face the spin control technology which feels like a basketball material probably is because wilson ball glove and stuff like that wilson but feels almost like a basketball it will be the spin control technology it does exactly and this one's going to be interesting because uh they, they make a first baseman they make an infield one which obviously first base you're involved in a lot of plays out there uh but an infield you know you have your chance of obviously making a lot of plays especially the the infield one but i mean you're talking about the catcher's mitt. This is, you're involved in every single pitch. And this one will be super interesting to see kind of the traction on. But I, I, I see this, I, from people trying it on, I, I see that the spin control technology will definitely be here to stay. And I think you could see this kind of coming about in the next couple of years with like custom stuff and, and going on and on. And, uh, you know, I think it will be like super skin where like 20 years ago, super skin came out. People were freaked out. How could they do what it? gloves have evolved as far as like from a technology standpoint where they were you know in the in the 50s the 60s 70s where they are today who would ever think they would have something called spin control technology what that does is it does exactly what it, it, it sounds like it decreases the spin rate obviously increases the friction between the ball and the mitt and will obviously keep the 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 player from uh you know having a the ball getting lost in there and making the quicker play catcher obviously wants to catch the ball throwing somebody out making the play on the field and stuff like that that's what this will help with and it is here to stay if you're looking for a great catcher smith take a look at the sc spin control 33 and a half m1d on the close of that's website this year we can always shop 